Let's say life is short. Let's say you wake up one day and on a day, all of your dreams and everything you wish for and you wanted. Or... Russia, Ukraine, war. Latest news. Russian forces move by air and land to attack Kyiv on Friday, hitting defenses across Ukraine that Western defense officials said were unexpectedly strong while Moscow signaled openness to holding talks with the Ukrainian government. Despite the overture, Russian President Vladimir Putin Friday excoriated Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and his government comparing them to terrorists. They hide behind people in the hope of later blaming Russia for the civilian casualties, Mr. Putin told a Security Council meeting. After dark on Friday, Mr. Zelensky released a video of himself standing in front of the presidential headquarters in central Kiev. With his chief of staff, the country's prime minister and the parliament majority leader, we are all here, depending our independence in our state, and that's how it will be, he said. As Russian media spread rumors of him having fled the city. Mr. Zelensky also spoke by phone with President Biden for about 40 minutes late Friday. The Biden administration is considering additional support to the Ukrainian military. U.S. and European Union officials said they plan to impose sanctions on Mr. Putin and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Ukraine invasion is Putin's most aggressive move yet to restore Russia's place in the world. The Russian president has sought for two decades to recapture status lost with the Soviet Union's collapse. Moscow, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is President Vladimir Putin's most aggressive move yet in his two-decade-long campaign to reassert Russia's place in the world and redeem the humiliation of the fall of the Soviet Union. February 25, 2022 White House Kyiv falling to Russia is a real possibility. Washington, the White House warned that Kyiv should fall as Russian forces continue to advance on the city. Kyiv falling is real possibility, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters on Friday. Even as we see resistance on the ground, Russia's military continues to advance toward Kyiv. U.S. officials has assessed as recently as Thursday that Kyiv could fall within 24 to 48 hours. U.S. officials still expect it could fall, but a senior defense official said Friday that Ukrainian resistance was stronger than the U.S. first expected and the Ukrainians has slowed the Russians push into the capital. Biden, U.S. commitment to NATO's Article 5 is ironclad. Washington, President Biden reiterated the U.S. commitment to the North Atlantic Treaty 
organizations, Article 5, which says an attack on one member of the alliance is an attack on all and compels allies to come to each other's aid. As I said yesterday, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory. Our commitment to Article 5 is ironclad, Mr. Biden said in a statement after participating in a virtual meeting with NATO countries on Friday. Mr. Biden said he had ordered the deployment of additional forces to support NATO allies in the region, adding that he supported the decision to activate NATO's defensive plans and elements of the alliance response force. As President Putin threatens the very foundations of international peace and security, NATO is once again demonstrating that it stands for freedom and democracy, he said. White House, U.S. to sanction Putin, Lavrov. The U.S. will sanction Russian President Vladimir Putin, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, and members of Russia's national security team, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said on Friday. The sanctions freeze any assets, measures Putin and Lavrov, and the other targets hold within U.S. jurisdiction and bar business and financial transactions with them. Ms. Psaki said the sanctions would include restrictions on Mr. Putin's ability to travel to the U.S. She said Mr. Biden decided to impose sanctions on the Russian leaders within the past 24 hours. U.S. officials had hoped to retain the measure as a potential response to further escalation but on Friday, the European Union agreed to freeze any European assets of Mr. Putin and Mr. Lavrov, a move that one U.S. official said caught Washington by surprise. The official said that while the U.S. had considered sanctions on Mr. Putin and several people within his inner circle, some within the administration worry targeting the head of state would complicate efforts to find an up ramp to the conflict. Sanctioning Mr. Putin is primarily intended to politically isolate the president on the world stage, said former U.S. officials. Russia experts say Mr. Putin's wealth is largely held in associates names mitigating the sanctions impact on his financial status additionally special exceptions would be made for the leaders to travel internationally for political meetings it is rare for the u.s to sanction sitting head of state mr putin a former Soviet intelligence officer who has led the country as either prime minister or president for nearly a quarter century who joined a small group of paria dictators accused of human rights abuses and corruption, including Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. North Korea's Kim Jong-un and Venezuela Nicolas Maduro. Russia-Ukraine conflict updates. Ukraine holds Kyiv invasion. Zelensky resists Putin. We won't put down our weapons. President 
Volodymyr Zelensky told his people in a video message from the streets of the capital posted early Saturday. The fighting continued in Kyiv and across Ukraine on Saturday into Sunday with the Russian assault appearing to be stymied by the steeper than expected resistance according to a United States defense official. The United States and European nations announced several measures to support Ukraine as they fight to defend their nation. The United States and its allies agreed Saturday to take aim at Russia through SWIFT, a service that facilitates global transactions among thousands of financial institutions. And the U.S. and others, such as Germany, were speeding badly needed weaponry and supplies to the outgunned Ukrainians who were refusing to surrender. Ukraine rejects Belarus as location for talks. Ukraine's president said on Sunday that this country was ready for peace talks with Russia but not in Belarus which was a staging ground for Moscow three-day-old invasion. Speaking in a video message Sunday, President Volodymyr Zelensky named Warsaw, Bratislava, Istanbul, Budapest, or Baku as alternative venues. He said other locations are also possible but made clear that Ukraine doesn't accept Russia's selection of Belarus. The Kremlin said Sunday that a Russian delegation had arrived in the Belarusian city of Hormel for talks with Ukrainian officials. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the delegation includes military officials and diplomats. The Russian delegation is ready for talks and we are now waiting for the Ukrainians, Peskov said. Russia invaded Ukraine on Thursday with troops moving from Moscow's ally Belarus in the north and also from the east and south. Kyiv official says capital is completely controlled by Ukraine forces. As Ukraine starts its fourth day pending up Russian troops and munitions, a Kyiv official declared Sunday that the capital city was still in the hands of Ukrainians. The situation in Kyiv is calm. The capital is completely controlled by the Ukrainian army and defense. Mykola Poboronsky Nick, first deputy head of the Kyiv City State Administration, said on messaging service Telegram. He warned that it was not news to Sabor. The city was under attack by Russian forces. There were several clashes with sabotage group at night, Poboronsnik said. Ukraine's Minister of Defense, Oleksiy Resnikov, said early Sunday that forces pending up the Russian offensive in Kyiv have made history. Three days change our country and the world forever, he said on Facebook. I see a heroic army, a civil guard, fearless border guards, surplus rescuers, reliable police officer, tireless medical angels, Resnikov said on Facebook. 
He also praised thousands of Ukrainians who took up arms in defense of Kyiv and their country. You are seen by all the whole world, he wrote. Updates on Russia's invasion of Ukraine On Wednesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin sent troops into neighboring Ukraine under the guise of a special military operation despite condemnation from the international community. Putin pushed forward bowing consequences you have never seen for nation that choose to interfere. Events of the invasion have played out in real time on social media platforms. Sources on the ground in Ukraine are reporting live on Twitter. Military Times is chronicling these accounts and will continue to provide live updates throughout the weekend from trusted sources. You can find previous updates from Thursday and Friday as well. February 26, 2022 Russia, Ukraine News That we're covering here Massive explosion lit up the night sky near the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. Early Sunday, as Ukrainian forces continue to repel Russian attempts to gain control of the historic city, despite overwhelming odds. The problems. The leaders never suffers. It's always the innocent people that always do. What a tragedy for the Ukrainian people. I pray for them as they fight for a valued treasure. Freedom. Hang in Ukraine. Those Beautiful buildings at the beginning. St. Sophia Cathedral. Russia attacking Ukraine is so sad. Support for the Ukrainian citizens. I can't imagine being woken up by a siren like that. Imagine a king who fights his own battles. Wouldn't that be a sight. This is a horrible sight. Hope everyone is safe and my heart goes out to the civilians. The only one that truly suffer are the innocent people. Prayers to both parties involved not wanting to go to war. Just hearing those sirens at 204 bring tears to my eyes and I don't cry easily. I pray that I never hear that near me. I can't imagine the tension right now. I wish humans could evolve enough to fight the urge to battle. This is senseless and devastating. This is how a world war starts. And I'm afraid of how it will end. My heart felt. Thanks goes out to the kind people of Poland and other countries opening their arms to the fleeing Ukrainians. Give them refuge is what people can do to help. Kiss and hug your children. I hope it's over before it starts. The rich decide to go to war, but the poor are the one who die. Fun pack. The pawn in the game of chess represents the armed peasant or soldier 
Soul dyer. Pawn by definition is someone who uses someone else for their own gain. Don't give your hearts to these machine men with their machine minds. What is happening in Ukraine today is the recent history of my country, Iran. When Stalin tried to occupy parts of northwestern Iran by establishing the Azerbaijan Democratic Party in Iran. But fortunately did not succeed. Now it is doing the same with Ukraine. I hope this ends soon. People's lives are in danger. My prayers. My prayers. Pram. I was in junior high when they first tried attacking Ukraine in 2014. To see it happen again blows my mind. God bless these people. There's parents of these young men I know are upset and praying their child doesn't get killed. My best friend in Cleveland was an immigrant from Ukraine. He told me that everyone is preparing to fight the Russian hordes. Ukrainians will not back down. Bombing did not work in Stalingrad and it won't work in Kiev. I'm trying to come to terms with what's happening so I can't begin to imagine the complete terror that invaded every family in the Ukraine. They need help on every level. Now, I believe now, the carrot has been offered and is gone and the stick is now required and whatever comes what will be will be humanity deserves it my heart goes out to ukraine putin is not a human being this is so sad hang in there ukraine this is very sad to see what is happening. God bless Ukraine. I wonder if any other governments will get involved. If so, pray for your lives. The world may be ending here sooner than we think. Spend every day like it's your last. Maybe Putin didn't hear about the sanctions yet. I'm sure he will turn the tanks and jets around as soon as he does. Please remember people, this isn't the fault of the Russian civilians. Just their tyrant Vladimir Putin and his regime. My heart goes out to all of the innocent lives that will be lost and the families it will destroy. I'm from Ukraine. I've been never thought that war would be near my home. It's the most horrible that could happen. And I wish peace to everyone. All Ukrainians want peace. People don't have to die at no war in Ukraine. I wish safety to the Ukrainian people who have no fault in this war. May God help you, your sister from Iran. I feel sad and angry at what's happening. Politicians never learn from history. I feel sorry for the people of Ukraine. May God be with you. I live in Ukraine for a few years. I have a lot of friends and families 
that are going through a lot of pain and stress. It is sad. Pray for Ukraine. I hope this opens a lot of people's eye to what freedom really means and to be thankful for what you have. God bless Ukraine. Go Ukraine, all the world is with you, innocent and brave people, fighting for their country and freedom. The Ukrainian people are a strong and battle-hardened people. Please do not give up hope. My hearts and thoughts are with everyone there. Imagine how cold your soul has to be to enjoy and perpetrate such crimes against all humanity. Our prayers for Ukraine. I like it when the Ukrainian soldier stood up and defend their country. Thank God. U.S. and other countries sold them some weapons and trained them to put up a fight. But all of the glory goes to Ukraine and their fighting spirit. Russian army is no joke. Courage is the thing that keeps us free. Respect Ukraine. Wow, really? They are brave. They didn't surrender. They are fighting with a monstrous country without any help of other. All my prayers for Ukraine. I hope the Russian soldiers know that their sacrifices are not appreciated or honored by anyone. Not even Russians. Hearing the news that the Ukrainian president is still in the country is in a way kind of heartwarming. It's like he's standing with the citizens of Ukraine fighting with them okay, until so the end. About our country. Therefore, I order we the of are the ashamed of our leaders and governments for turning their backs the on Ukraine. Love and hope from Ireland. God bless the Ukrainian people. Keep them safe from Russian aggression. Make them victorious over tyranny. Our heart is with Ukrainian people, the latest victim of big power, rivalry, or global dominance. There's so many memes in the internet on what's happening in Ukraine and Russia, but now it's really happening. It's not funny. It's depressing. And I hope the people in Ukraine are okay, especially those who didn't fled the country because of financial situations. I hope they're okay. Ukraine has done an amazing job of fighting back against the Russian advance, considering what they are up against. They've given at least as much as they've gotten. Russia has not gotten this far without their own significant bloodshed and material losses. Such a brave stand, yet they are being left out to dry by the people who were supposed to be their allies and supporters. 
This will embolden not only Russia but China as well. I hope Putin stops after probing his point and NATO doesn't get involved lest things escalate throughout Europe. Stay strong, Ukraine. I'm from Taiwan. We're confront almost same situation as Ukraine. The only reality we can learn from history is that invader will never be kind when you don't have power to protect yourself. This should be kept in mind, especially for who believe the value of liberty, democracy. God bless Ukraine. Ukraine has shown great bravery. I don't know if it would be the right move, but I wish my country, the U.S., would do more to help. Putin miscalculated by thinking Ukraine would just collapse. Respect to the heroes defending their families and homeland. We should learn from them. Sure would be nice if we could start getting a more coherent overall picture of the strategic situation. I realize there's a pag of war but hopefully we'll learn more soon. So disappointed with the EU, Italy doesn't want sanction to affect luxury bags. Belgium doesn't want to affect diamonds. That is why they are restricting themselves with more financial sanction. Truly appalling. It's going to get worse before it gets better. For all in Ukraine, hang in there and don't stop. Fight for your land and family and pray that the people of Russia can help stop this war. Good people in Russia to help Ukraine to stop this war. We know there are people in Russia that want this war to stop. Stay strong, people of Ukraine. The West must stand with Ukraine. Else China won't think twice before invading Taiwan as well. Keep calm. Ukrainian forces are repelling the enemy fiercely. And even if they take Kiev, the resistance won't stop. Very sad about this attack. I hope the world would reach in the same way when it happens in other countries but with other countries there is hypocrisy they should never go down without a fight depend their motherland up to the last breath and drop off their blood i hope all the people and country who are watching do not let this act of terror be ignored may all the people in the world would come together and help you reign. This is a sad time for the Ukrainians but also to the whole world. Vladimir Putin has showed us that the peace and freedom our ancestors shed blood for can be trampled over just to over satisfy to individual goals but still just as our fathers were going to stand together and fight for what is right our peace our sovereignty our freedom our everything for as long as it is right and ours we stand still and strong knowing that at the end we're going to be singing songs of victory. 
Putin is modern Russia Caesar. We don't need another world war. Shame on us. We haven't learned anything from world wars. If third world war will be fought, then fourth world war will be fought with sticks, spears, bows, swords, and stones. Stay strong, Ukraine people. I pray for safety of Ukraine citizens and their children. I hope that Ukraine serve as a warning call of all of Europe to focus more in security and defense. Europe must stand together and strong or else let evil run over the continent. I am fully against war, but I think it's time to realize that sanctions aren't stopping Russian troops from committing war crimes in the street of Ukraine. Sanctions are not action. And Ukraine needs help now. Working resolutely on doing nothing at all. What the world is allowing to happen to Ukraine is a crime. Europe and the world abandoning a fellow European nation for no reason. Devastating. It's just very sad to see our world going to war again and again because of some careless and ignorant leaders.